Uh, just a day after a survey revealed a big surge in the Minnesota wolf population, a hunter came face to face with some startling proof. Justin Bailey and two young boys were hunting grouse in Minnesota's Arrowhead when their dog ran square into a wolf pack. I grabbed the boys pretty much and threw them back and kind of watched the wolf and see what it was going to do. The professional guide and sportsman says that he has seen wolves many times in the past, but never did they circle his truck. Only on WCCO, Bill Hudson sits down with Bailey, who describes the bold and rare encounter. Nowhere is Justin Bailey more at home than in the woods or on the water. You stay in the shallow rocks the whole time? The Keewatin hunting and fishing guide enjoys the stories as much as the catch. Uh, I do fully outfitted in the winter and in the summer and then hunting, a lot of bird hunting. That's what he was doing with his son and nephew Tuesday, driving remote roads south of Ely looking for grouse. In the North Woods sprung a scary surprise. Oh, you're such a good dog. His year old German wire hair, Henry, ran into the woods to point a grouse. That's when Justin and his boys heard a yelp like never before. I've never heard, really heard a dog make that sound, so I, I didn't know what was going on. I don't know if he stepped in a trap at first, or I didn't know what happened. A large timber wolf, twice Henry's size, was nipping at his haunches. I grabbed the boys pretty much and threw them back and kind of watched the wolf and see what it was going to do. Henry jumped through the window for the safety of the truck. And that wolf stopped at the truck and kind of went around the backside and came back and that's when I kind of walked towards the wolf and fired a shot off in the air, yelled at it to get out of there. Undeterred, the wolf circled and rejoined the pack. First two, three, eventually six. It was really after my dog. It really wanted my dog. Then, as suddenly as they appeared, the pack slipped back into the dense forest. No match to the speed of Henry. Yeah, there's a lot more wolves out there than people think. And a Northwoods encounter to entertain kids and clients for years to come. Now, Justin says it'll take some time for his dog, Henry, to regain his excitement and confidence for the woods. In fact, they continued hunting grouse after that experience, except Henry wouldn't leave the truck. I can understand why. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't blame Henry. <laughs> so we talked about that annual survey, and mm -hmm. it shows that 25% more wolves are in that arrowhead. Do you know what's contributing to that? Well, according to the DNR, it's due to a similar jump in the white-tailed deer numbers, their favorite prey, more deer, more wolves. Bear in mind, however, the estimated 2,856 wolves in the state, just slightly under the peak number of wolves counted between 2004 and 2008. So, yes, there are more of them, but not as many as there were 10 years ago. All right. Thank you, Bill. Mm -hmm.